There was a solemn ceremony at the animal habitat where a volunteer was killed by a lion. The center reopened today and did so with the blessing of the young woman's parents. ABC's Tanya Rivero has the story. A letter from Diane Hansen's grieving mother was read aloud at today's reopening of the California Big Cat Sanctuary. I'm living every mother's worst nightmare and losing a cherished child. I'm pleased that Cat Haven is reopening today. It is my desire that they continue their mission in support of saving my daughter's beloved creatures. Hansen had been cleaning an empty enclosure last Wednesday when the 550 pound lion escaped from his feeding pen and pounced on the 24 year old intern, breaking her neck, killing her instantly. The lion has been taken care of. Hansen's heartbroken father telling ABC News. Just used to scare her mother and me to death to think of her in the cage. He's just, it's just, I never got used to that. There's a long and growing casualty list of people who've been injured or killed by dangerous wild animals kept as pets. More tigers are kept in captivity in the U.S. than are left in the wild. In Ohio, more than 50 exotic animals let loose by their owner terrorized a community. I think I just seen one. It looks like a jaguar or a wolf or something. Mitchell Kalmanson has a booming business ensuring exotic animal owners, inspecting their properties and making sure their cages are secure. You think they're nice and they're cute and cuddly and all of a sudden they're grown and they, and they can turn within seconds. Even in captivity, these animals never lose their wild instincts. Hansen's family started a fund in her honor to benefit the wildlife organizations she loved, including Cat Haven, where her parents say she died doing her dream job.